So Solomon, I wanted to talk about, you know, there's there's been a lot of talk about, you know, uh, on my channel, especially Pacquiao and Lomachenko, there was an uh, article on the boxing scene, which obviously in the in the on the internet is caught a lot of fire um and i obviously made a video saying that i believe pacquiao knocks out lomachenko because lomachenko's too small he's not a big he's not a big he's not he's not going to be able to fight pacquiao uh, at that weight you know pacquiao's been fighting at that weight for a very long time he hits very hard uh lomachenko's very skillful but it's at the lower weight categories against the smaller guys. And Pacquiao is very nimble, very fast. And, you know, most people, or I especially think even at this age, you would stop Lomachenko. Um, I, th I think you mentioned as well that you felt that Pacquiao would stop Lomachenko as well. Uh, but what do, you make, what do you make of that matchup? And do you think it's a fight which Lomachenko shouldn't really take? Because, you know, Lomachenko is in a position where he's looking to be the next star of the sport. But if he loses to Pacquiao, that that all ends. Um, yeah. Um, um, I don't think Lomachenko should take the Pacquiao fight. I don't think he needs to take the Pacquiao fight. He doesn't really need to prove that he can beat Pacquiao because he's not really that... W it's like, for example, Andre Ward going to heavyweight. It's not... It, Lomachenko's frame isn't big enough to go to welterweight. He's going to get... Eventually, it gets to a point where your weight's just too small no matter how much skill you have. No matter how much skill you have, you just can't beat the guy because he's too big. And that, I think that's going to be the case if Lomachenko steps up because some of those guys down at 147, even if he goes in to fight Pacquiao, he's going to be way too small. He's small at the weight he fights now. He's quite small at the weight he fights now, let alone moving up to, you know, 147. Uh, <laughs> those guys are massive compared to Lomachenko. Lomachenko looks like a kid compared to those guys. It's like you can't put him up to 147. I can't. I can't even... you got to realise Pacquiao's matured into that weight now. He's been fighting at that weight for God knows how long. I can't see Lomachenko stepping up and beating Pacquiao. Certainly at 147. I can't see him, see him beating many of those top 147 pounders. They're just too big and too strong. You can have all the skills in the world, but if you're not big enough, you're not big enough. You know, some of the likes of the best fighters to ever live in this planet, like Bruce Lee, got knocked out by, you know, big guys. So... What Lomachenko? I don't. I, I can't. I don't see Lomachenko stepping up and beating Pacquiao, or even him considering it. So, what do you? What, so, why do you think uh, Pacquiao knocks out Lomachenko? What, what? What do you think the reasons? Give, give the first of all, the McLean. reason is that he's not big. Lomachenko is not going to be big enough. He isn't probably even going to come in at one forty-seven. Um, he'll probably come in a lot lighter. You gotta realize Pacquiao is not the slowest of one forty seven fighters. He's not one of the least skillful. He's probably really he's but he's so skillful. So you're going in with someone that's bigger than you, that's also skillful, and that's got fast hands. It's it's a very hard ask. It's it's I can't see. I I can't. I just can't give. I can't give Lomachenko a reason. But from a technical standpoint, what do you think Pacquiao does that would cause Lomachenko all sorts of issues? Do you think uh, he fights? Eh? He uh, Pacquiao's a fighter. That's what we'll call. Yeah, Lomachenko but what about issue. what about the He's other attributes the he has? What about the other attributes he has? Like Lomachenko, we know is very skillful, very hard to hit. He I personally a... feel. I personally feel if Lomachenko and Pacquiao were the same weight right now, one thirty-five, I think Lomachenko would beat him. I think I've already said that. I personally think Lomachenko at his weight. If he if Pacquiao was to drop down to his weight, Lomachenko would beat him. Yeah, but that that's how can you drop down to something yeah, that you can't make? Yeah, he's not gonna drop down. But in my opinion, right now, I think personally at that weight, Lomachenko would be anyone. But obviously, that's the fight's not gonna happen at that weight. I think maybe they should fight at a catch weight, one forty. Well, Pacquiao might not be able to make one forty. Yeah, then it, I don't think that fight should happen. I don't think it's a, it's not a realistic matchup. What about? Do you think even stylistically Pacquiao's all wrong for Lomachenko? The fact that he's so fast, he moves from side to side. Lomachenko's probably not come across nah, that. Nah, I don't agree with that. No, I don't agree with that because the, these type of fighters like Lomachenko, they pick you up. They pick they uh, pick you apart. It, you gotta realize Pacquiao makes loads of mistakes, loads. And with Lomachenko, he's a he. They don't call him the. Te he's a technician. He he'll pick Pacquiao apart easy. But do you think it's just a case where Pacquiao needs to land that one left hand that could put Lomachenko to sleep? 
Yeah, but to sleep, that then that's that's that doesn't usually happen in boxing. It happens sometimes. Yeah, but it would if he moves up to one four seven and he's fighting a guy that's a lot bigger than yeah, him. Maybe, but we don't know. He might be sparring bigger guys. So yeah, but sparring's not, like, not fighting when you're fighting Pacquiao is different. I know, but personally, yeah, one forty seven. The, the left uh, Hatton be, Hatton was a lot bigger than Lomachenko. Hatton was massive, right? And it, Pacquiao landed that left hand on Pac Hatton's chin and he put him out cold. Look what he did to Miguel Cotto, who finished his career as a light middleweight, right? So, what's he going to do to some... Even though he's 40 and Manny Pacquiao's towards the end, what's he going to do to a smaller Lomachenko? Yeah, I don't think... If he goes up to 147, I think Pacquiao will beat him, as I said. Do you think he would destroy him? Yeah, I think he... I, don't, I think he would knock him out. I think he would think, knock him out. I think... Yeah, I think he knocks him out. He knocks him spark out, in my opinion. Yeah, if he lands a good punch, then yeah. Because you've got to realise, to land a bingo punch, it, it, take, it has to be very well timed. Yeah, but when you're a smaller guy, like Lomachenko, and you get it, it doesn't have to be, so you can be half a I punch. I think he'll definitely get knocked out. Whether it'll be, he'll be spark out, where he'll go down like how Canelo knocked it's like out saying, Khan, I don't know about that. It's but. like Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence. We expect Spence to knock Mikey Garcia out. I think Mikey Garcia, Mikey Garcia has been dropped by a smaller guy. So if Spence lands a good punch, I think Mikey Garcia is going to go. Because I've seen Mikey Garcia being dropped by a smaller weight person. So if he can't even, if he can't really take a punch from someone that, uh, at that size, well, he can take a punch, but if he got dropped by someone at like that size, then Errol Spence is going to be way too much for him. Way too much. I, I'll be very surprised if Mikey Garcia pulls off an upset in that fight. So, so the, the reason why... You think um, Pacquiao beats Lomachenko is because of the weight. Yeah, it's too big. It's too big a weight difference. So there you go, guys. Uh, L Lomachenko has no business to go up to one four seven to fight Pacquiao. Even at catch rate at one forty three, one forty two, even if they fight at one forty, you'd have to favor Pacquiao. You know, Lomachenko got dropped by Linares. Uh, with a right hand, and and Pacquiao is a lot more dangerous than Linares. He's probably a lot faster than Linares. It's a fight that, you know, Lomachenko should stay well away from. Uh, but leave your thoughts, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about the fight. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.